Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Tom Nappy and Eric Carty on the call to bring you Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. John Ritz is our cameraman for this Saturday evening as the 4-1 and 1 Hopkinton Hillers take on 4-2 and 1 Dover Sherborne. It is a TBL showdown. Both teams had great seasons last year. Dover Sherborne went 11, 8, and 1 and lost in the first round of the playoffs. Hopkinton went 17, 2, and 1 and lost their first playoff game. But both teams have high hopes once again this season. And Eric, uh, this should be a much improved Dover Sherborne team based on the way they have played so far this season. Yeah, the Tri Valley League has really got some good teams this year, and they're definitely one of them. This is going to be one of those games for the Hillers. It's a character game after that really fast start, uh, going undefeated and then running into a tough Hollison team that they uh, played really tough. This is the kind of game we're going to see what they have for the rest of the year. It certainly will. And uh, Hopkinton, as you mentioned, they lost their last game against Holliston. That was a road game. It was a 3-1 to one loss this past Wednesday. And Dover Sherborne, they won their last game against Bellingham last Tuesday, 10 to nothing. But both teams looking to get a W here today. But I think we are going to have a great game on our hands. I, I think this is going to be a game that the kind of game that goes down to the wire. It is. Yeah, Dover Sherborne always plays Hopkinton tough, no matter what type of year they have. Uh, they seem to always give the Hillers their best shot. As the players get ready, and we're going to have the national anthem very soon. And the Hopkinton Hillers, of course, they won their first Daily News Cup this season by taking down Algonquin. That was before the loss at Holliston. They defeated Algonquin 3-1. to one. Will Abbott had the game-winning goal in that game with 4.05 left, and then Delaney hit an empty netter very late in the game to secure the Daily News Cup for the Hopkinton Hillers, and that's pretty impressive. They had to get through Hudson and Algonquin to win that cup. Those are some tough teams, especially Algonquin. They were having a really good year and ranked in the top 10. And speaking of Hudson, if you want to compare these two teams, Dover Sherborne lost to Hudson. I believe it was 7-1. to one. And we'll turn it down now to rinkside for the National Anthem. The Dover Sherborne Raiders and the Hopkinton Hillers. Introducing you to start last year, this is Dover Sherborne Raiders. Starting goal, number one, Amy Rich. Starting defense, number three, Zach Capil. Starting defense, number 13, Johnny Sestro. You started with left wing, number 11, Nick Martin. Starting center, number 14, Cole Conn. Starting right wing, number seven, Standish Charlotte. Now, you start by up for your hockey and Miller's home team. Starting goal, number 31, Dylan O'Leary. Starting defense, number 3, Matt Lindquist. Starting defense, number 6, Andrew Gilbert. You start in left wing, number 15, Steven Silos. You start in center, number 21, Owen Deleary. Delaney, excuse me. You said everybody was going to come Will have it. If I could ask you all, please rise. Remove your caps to celebrate our next one.
there is your national anthem, and we are just about ready for Hopkinton Hillers hockey here at the wonderful New England Sports Center. Of course, their new facility for this season, which features about, what, 10 rinks here at this facility? It is absolutely enormous, and it is certainly a very nice place to watch some Hillers hockey. As both teams have taken the ice, and as you mentioned, Eric, the TVL certainly getting a lot tougher this season. And I think just about every TVL matchup you have is just going to be such a challenge all season long. It is. It's going to be a battle in and out. And with the addition of Dedham, I mean, that's only going to make things even more difficult for teams with that extra uh, couple of games against them. Starters for the Hillers feature Matt Lindquist, Andrew Gilbert, Steven Simos, Owen Delaney, Will Abbott, Dylan O'Leary in net for Hopkinton. And we'll get you the Dover Sherborne starters in just a moment. Dover Sherborne features a freshman goaltender, Aiden Britt, who is very good in net, a force to be reckoned with, certainly not easy to score on. And he has come up with huge saves all season long for the Blue Raiders. So it is going to be interesting to see how the Hillers play against the freshman Aiden Britt in net. The other starters for Dover Sherborne, sophomore Zachary Popiel and freshman Standish Carathers, senior Nicholas Markin, senior John Goudreault, and senior Cole Condon rounding out the starters for the Blue Raiders. In the center circle for the faceoff, it is Cole Condon up against Owen Delaney for your Hopkinton Hillers. And it might be cold in here, Eric, but I think you would agree that it is certainly more cold outside. Yeah, I'm definitely happy to be in here watching hockey. It's about negative, what is it, 20 outside right now? So that wind chill. this actually feels warm being yeah. in here. I think the important thing to watch here, Tom, is uh, the practices have been canceled the last couple days with a snowstorm here. So we'll see how they come out after coming off that loss. If they come out strong. And I think the good note is I'm sure uh, both teams were negatively affected by the snowstorm as well as the horrible winter conditions that we have put up with the last few days. So I'd say both teams more than likely going to be at the same level for this one. A lot of pent up energy out there. Yeah, there certainly is. And a little stoppage in the action here before we get things going. Both teams going to talk things over. But I think the uh, the ice should be in pretty good condition today. I don't think they'll have any problems with how cold it's been. No, no the sports center here does a real good job uh, pretty much every game, game in and game out, especially on this rink here, uh, rink number one. The ice is always in pristine condition. And also, they have a tournament that's been going on here as well. A lot of out-of-state teams, a lot of out-of-country players, and that's been going on all day long. We were told after us they got another game, another tournament game. It's a some kind of semi-pro league. And Marlboro has become the hockey mecca of Massachusetts. Yeah, it certainly has. You got what, two arenas here? And this is pretty much where uh, at least more than half of the TVL teams play, right in Marlboro. And we are just waiting for the officials to talk to both coaches. And beat with the scorekeeper, and then we will get things going here. And it was quick moving to get the players out there because it's such a crowded schedule that they have some other games they need to get in tonight. So they are working very quickly here. Looks like there's some kind of maybe a roster issue with the officials that they're trying to work out. So that's the uh, delay here in starting this game. And we're right in back of the bench, so we're just trying to take a listen to uh, what the official and the coaches were talking about. 
That sounds like they might be over the maximum limit of players. So they might have to, uh, uh, looks like they're gonna have to start maybe someone else in net. I think they have to leave the, uh, the bench area for the game. All right, so they have to pull a couple players out. Looks like uh, get Gray Bailey, the sophomore, and Curtis Terry are gonna hit the locker room. So a little dispute in the amount of players that the Hillers have. And of course there's regulations to how many players you can have. Well, again, Tom, this is one of those character things. We'll see how the team comes out after this. Hopefully they come out flying with a good start, overcome the adversity here to start the beginning of this game. Yeah, it's certainly a rough way to start a game. But I'm sure they are uh, ready to play either way. And I think for me this is the first starting a, start a game uh, on the penalty kill. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> right, so due to the roster problem, uh, the Hillers, they had to put one in the penalty box. So they are going to go with four to start. Yeah, I can't imagine that, that happens too often. To start a game here on the penalty kill. Well, they're going to be put to the test early, I guess. All right, here we go. We're ready for face-off, and we are underway here from the New England Sports Center. Dover Sherborne starts off with control, working right to left across your screen. Coming up now in the Hillers defensive zone. That one turned around by Paolato. Out of the blue line it goes. Backhanded past the circle. That's deflected by a defender. That was Tommy Hamblett getting the stick on that one to send it into Dover Sherborne territory. Now Will Abbott along the boards with a couple of Blue Raiders. Abbott trying to steal it away. And it's taken back by Will Rooney for Dover Sherborne. To the neutral zone we go. Coming up quick on the far side. The shot that's deflected by O'Leary. Another shot. That's why to the left, Larry being put to work early. Hillers on the penalty kill to start this game due to a roster problem, roster violation. So they are under pressure early on as Dover Sherborne already with four shots on net. Puck along the near side now. The pass out by Arnone. And over to the far side, handled by Rooney. Around the end board it goes. Jammed into the corner. That's put back into Dover Sherborne territory by Delaney. 40 seconds left on the penalty kill as the Hillers switch up a couple of players. Hunter Temple and David Sloan now out there. DJ Sloan as he goes by. Two real speed players here that should help pin, pin them in. Udralt handling the puck along the far side. A pass across to Condon. Condon along the near side. That is up to Rooney. That right, got by Rooney over to Arnone, the senior. Jammed up along the corner. Arnone puts it around the net. To the end boards it goes. Markin picks it up. Markin looking to do something here. Pass over to the far side to Carruthers. And he's thought about the shot, but thought twice about it. That one is a pass across by Markin. And now behind the net it goes. Back to even strength. Kill that one off. Well, a nice uh, early penalty kill for the Hillers. A nice job uh, dealing with that to start the game. But now we are at even strength for both teams as the Hillers working in a DS territory. Towards the blue line now is DJ Sloan. That's picked up along the far side. And that is Sean Walsh, the sophomore. Puts it around the boards towards Saperoschitz. And now coming down the ice is Sloan. DJ Sloan up the near side. Couple Blue Raiders getting his way. And the official gets tangled up. Puts it around the net towards Temple. And now looking for the shot here. That's deflected. And picked up on the far side. Another shot there. That's deflected by Britt. And last shot by Gilbert. Here comes the Blue Raiders. Into the neutral zone. Coming up fast along the near side. Deflected by a hiller there. Tommy Higgins for Dover Sherborne looking for that one. 
Now back to the far side we go. That's picked up by Paolato. That Paolato player to watch out for. That shot wide to the left by Goudrault. Behind the net it goes. That's picked up by Delaney. Now over on the far side, Lindquist. Back to the neutral zone, Sean Walsh. Looking to do something here in the slot. Both teams kind of feeling each, each other out to start this one off. 11-12 left to go in the first period. Hillers, they had to kill off a penalty right from the get-go due to a roster violation. Did a nice job at doing so. From the blue line, and the defender got in the way of that one. The attempt by Connor Delaney. Delaney in the neutral zone now, sends it across. Coming up fast on the left circle. That one wide to the right by Simos. The near side it goes. That pass picked up by George Roman for the Blue Raiders. And now up the far side is Avidikin. Avidikin matches up with Saporoshitz. Now along the near side boards is Will Abbott. Puts it around the net. Back to the far side. Now Delaney. Puts it into Dover Sherborne territory. Killers lay off to make a couple of substitutions. Back to the neutral zone. Trying something here is Max Chen. Pass to the slot, that one got away. Over on the near side, picked up by Arnaud. Back into the Hillers defensive zone. Well, so far, a pretty balanced game for both of these teams. Over the far side. Yes, defending their territory pretty well so far. Not letting the Hillers get a lot of shots off. Like the Hillers will be going on the power play here, hit from behind. A cross check. This might be the thing that'll finally get them jump started. I just think the way this game started out kind of cut the Hillers back on their heels, starting with that penalty kill. But once they get going and get their four check going, I think we'll see the team that we watched in the first uh, half of the season here pick it up. Well, now you even it up, and you're on the power play. Big opportunity here for the Hillers. Clock stopped at 9:34 left to go in the first period. When Delaney on the faceoff against Trustin for Dover Sherborne. Back to the blue line, Lindquist. Nice effort by Condon to the near side. Markin It's batted up in the air and pulled down by Simos. Simos puts it around the end board. Picked up on the other side by Delaney. And he finds Abbott coming down the far side. Here comes Abbott into the left circle towards the net. Puts it across, looking for the one-timer was DJ Sloan. Pretty good vision there, but Sloan just could not get the stick down fast enough on that one. Right idea. Back to the blue line. Jammed up along the near side, Abbott. Deflected. Passed across by Simos, looking for the shot there. But nice job by Cole Condon getting in front. Over to the blue line once again. Lindquist gets that one off a defender. And out of play. I think the Hill has just got to settle down a little bit. They're right now they're trying to force it. And they haven't had many shots on net. I think they just got to get back to their basics and move that puck like they have in the past and look for that open guy. Trying a little bit too much for trying to force it right now. You know, blue Raiders certainly doing a nice job at getting in front of the action. And they know they're going to have to defend well if they want to try to beat this Hillers team. That pass got away from Gilbert. Picked up in the neutral zone. Delaney. Put up the near side, turned away by Rooney. Back to the Hiller's defensive zone. Connor Delaney chases it down. Racing towards the neutral zone. Looking for someone in front of him. Right circle. Trying to put that one across. And in front of the net goes, and that one was nearly jammed on the side of Britt, but he was able to deflect it. Hiller's still in control. In the slot, the shot just wide to the left. And I think Britt got a piece of that one as well. That attempt was by Walsh, who then gives a hard hit to a Blue Raider. 
Okay, the Raiders are doing a real good job of blocking shots here in this first period. Walsh now coming up the ice for the Hillers. Over the far side. That shot wide to the right. No one was by Hamlet. And that one is going to be covered up by Britt. And a secondary attempt just wide to the right by DJ Sloan. Got some air under that one. And there's Sloan again. Some good shots by the Hillers. They're certainly uh, dominating in the last few minutes. That one in front of the net. And it's deflected by a defender out of play. It goes. And a lucky fan makes the catch. DJ Sloan looking for the shot there. This is a type of period where you're having a little troubles on your offense, struggling. You just want to try to get the pucks on net. And you're looking for a rebound, have a guy in front, and that will kind of get you generating some speed and some other things to get the game going. On the faceoff, DJ Sloan up against Max Chen. Out in front. Put off the glass by Jarrett. Back to the neutral zone we go. Weinstock picks that one up. Now for Dover Sherborne, it's Will Rooney. Send it around the end boards. That one off of Hiller, back into the neutral zone, and Cameron Jarrett able to find it. And we'll get a whistle here. Well, Dover Sherborne able to kill off their power play as well. Both teams have killed off the power play in this game. But the Hillers, in the last few minutes, they've gotten uh, quite a few shots off. 6.24 left to go in the first period. Face off in the neutral zone. Turned away there. Up the near side out of play. That one's sent out by Markin over to the Hillers bench area. up in the defensive zone by Popiel. Now back to the Hillers territory it goes. And you've got icing here. Face off in DS territory. It's kind of a stop and go feel to this one. Really not uh, continuous play. A lot of whistles early on for both teams. Right. They had one before the game even started. <laughs> <laughs> Hiller is with an opportunity here. Over to the left circle, looking for Delaney, and he'll take the shot. No good by Abbott. Aiden Britt, a sensational goaltender so far this season for Dover Sherborne. Not easy to score on. But Hillers, they've had a few opportunities already. Up the near side. Clash along the boards by a number of players. Picked up by Markin. Uh, Hiller is in control as Abbott able to get a stick on it. Sent around by Seamus. Over on the far side is Simos. Simos trying to get to that one. Turned away by Higgins. Over Sherborne having a tough time get up, getting off a shot in the last few minutes as the Hillers now racing down ice. Abbott with control up the near side and no one there. Trying to send that one down to the left circle, thinking someone might be there. Back to the neutral zone we go. Picked up by Sloan. Sloan racing into Blue Raider territory. That one turned away by a defender around the net now. Well, there's def uh, Dover Sherborne defenders being put to work early, and that one's going to be covered up by Britt. I think the Hill is starting to pick the pace up a little bit. They're moving the puck a lot better now, trying to get those long passes, send that puck in. Sloan right in front of the net was looking for that opportunity. Britt denied it. On the far side boards. Looking for Sloan in the, in the slot. Now along the 
corner. That's picked up by Vedekin. Yeah, that's stolen away. Nice steal by Sloan. In the left circle, looking for the shot there, and Britt's going to cover that one up. That one was deflected by a defender as well. Ended up being a slow roller right to Britt. And we'll have a line change with 4.04 left to go in the first period. Uh, look for the Hillers now to go to their bread and butter. Just get the pucks in deep. Their, their four check is what's been propelling them through all these games. So they'll get, once they get that going, they'll be okay. And that one stolen away by Griffin Zach. Just came into the game. On the far side now. And that was a long shot there by Kyle Rogers. Back to the neutral zone. Racing up the far side is Carothers. Standish Carothers, a player to look out for for Dover Sherborne. He's had a few very good performances so far this season. And that one's put over the net by Arnone. Picked up along the near side by Lindquist. Hiller's eyeing an opportunity here as Hunt Temple ends up racing it up the far side of Kyle Rogers. That one turned away, out of play it goes. What a puck's being uh, smacked out of play here in this game. A little taller glass down in this corner. <laughs> I guess so. Again, with the way this pace is going, Tom, what the Hillers really need to do is just keep it simple. Not look for anything fancy here. Just try to get some offense generated, get the pucks in deep, play their game, play their positions, and then look for the breaks. 3-10 left in the first period. Simos behind the net. Sends it up towards the blue line. A shot there, and that was nearly put in on the secondary attempt by Abbott off of the Sheamus attempt. And now, along the corner, Britt had to deflect another one. Sheamus puts that one towards the end board. Up the near side. Hiller certainly dominating shooting-wise. Seven shots on goal compared to Dover Sherborne's two. Simos along the far side. And that one out of play. We'll have another line change. 2.33 left to go, and the faceoff will be at center ice. DJ Sloan in there for the Hillers up against Max Chen for Dover Sherborne. Picked up by Saparoshitz. Here come the Hillers, opportunity here. Coming down, Sean Walsh. No one on the far side. Trying to pick it back up, but it lost his footing there. Opportunity here, Walsh on the left side of the net. And that was deflected by a defender. And that was a great box out attempt there by Arnon, not letting Walsh get that shot off. Back to the slot. Delaney turns it away. 150 now left to go in this first period as it goes back into the Hillers' territory. Connor Delaney with the backhanded pass. Back to the slot, no one there, or no one picks it up. Shot there, long shot, deflected by O'Leary. Coming around the net is Sloan, out in front. Picked up by Rooney. Dover Sherborne, they're having a tough time even getting close to the Hillers net. And they're, for, they're forcing a, a lot of long shots because it's been very tough for them to put a whole lot of pressure on the Hillers in the last few minutes. And we'll have a whistle here on that long pass attempt by Goudreau. Icing call to the Dover Sherborne zone we go with 109 left. Now the good thing about all these face-offs is that's one of the things the Hillers have really been good at over the years. And then turned away back to the blue line, Lindquist. Top of the circle, coming around the net strong, surrounded by Blue, Ra blue Raiders, checked into the board. That one put over to the near side. Some back and forth play in the corner. Oh, Sherborne, they're just trying to shake these Hillers forwards off, having a tough time at it. Quick break now, here comes Markin. 
And he was looking to the right circle. Great defensive play by Gilbert. 29 seconds left in this first period. And there's the wrister there. That was deflected by a defender. And a hard hit into the boards by the man who took it, John Gedralt. Blowing the boards by Carruthers. Picked up behind the net by Lindquist. Around the boards we go. Coming down ice, Delaney. Delaney into the corner. That one deflected. And that is going to do it for the first period. Well, it was uh, some back and forth to start this game off, but then I think the Hillers really kind of took control towards the end of that period, but we're still scoreless. Yep, yeah, I'd like to see them just be a little bit more aggressive on that forecheck. It looks like they're still just a little bit tentative, uh, but with that long layoff, I'm sure they had something to do with it. And we'll see if they come out here in the second period. I think you see a little bit more regression on that forecheck, and that uh, gets those legs driving, and that's the bread and butter of this team. Well, after one period of play, it's Hopkinton nothing, Dover Sherborne nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller's Boys Varsity Hockey on H Camp. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Kelly. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I like to be. Uh, camp. We love, love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Woo! Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the second period. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on H Camp. Tom Nappy, Eric Carty on the call, John Ritz on camera. And so far, we are scoreless as we head to the second period. But Eric, it looked like uh, towards the end of the first, the uh, Hillers uh, started to take a bit of control, and they certainly had more shots on net than Dover Sherbourne. Yeah, it looks like they finally started to get their uh, skating legs going there. Get that four check going. We are ready for the second period faceoff. Owen Delaney for the Hillers, Cole Condon for Dover Sherborne, and we are underway as we have switched ends, and here we go. Shot there wide to the left goes Carruthers. Jammed up along the near side now. Quick break coming up by Delaney, and the pass across that was a beauty of a pass and a nice one timer by Abbott. But I think Britt was just able to get a piece of it. What a shot that was, Eric. That was a nice play. That's where the speed really takes over. We're along the near side now, top of the circle. That one turned away by Britt. Now back out in front and turned away by the defender, Cole Condon. Nice job by Gilbert getting the shot off there, and we'll get the icing. I think that uh, first line really wanted to come out and take it to Dover Shriver right off the bat. Face off in the DS zone. Over Sherborne came into this game 4-2 and 1. The Hillers 4-1 and 1. Hopkinton coming off a tough loss against a very good Hollison team. Looking to get another W in the books here. Here come the Blue Raiders. That attempt turned away. Saparoshitz picks it up behind the net. Up to Temple he goes. Now turned away by Rooney. Over Sherborne, they're certainly going to need to be more aggressive if they want to try to score on this Hillers team. Hopkinton has defended very well all season long. Is that one covered up by Britt? And a little extracurricular activity. Goalies don't take kindly to the snow spray. <laughs> Can't imagine. Especially with uh, these temperatures. On the face off for the Hillers, DJ Sloan. Sloan up against Paolato. Back to the blue line. Over the right circle, and that shot, the backhander turned away. Sloan on the backhander there, and there is Walsh. And popped up over Sherborne, has it. Paolato risks that one into Hillers territory. Up the far side, Temple. Hand pass. Get a line change and a face off in the Blue Raiders zone. 
Well, for the Hills to get themselves going, they got to do like they did on that first shift. Just drive to the net, get shots on, go for the rebounds. That one wristed out by Simos. Up along the near side now. Buck escapes the neutral zone, picked up by Lindquist. The far side off the stick of Simos. In the corner now, Hamblet. And a shot at the top of the circle by Lindquist on a wrister. Over on the far side now in the left circle. Looking to squeeze this one through is Griffin Zach. Out in front, turned away by Britt. Zach on the initial attempt and Getting in on the action also for the Hillers was Kyle Rogers. Dover Sherman's goalie for a freshman. He's really showing some poise here. He's made some really big saves so far. Certainly is. It was one game he had 36 saves. That was a 2-2 tie against Medfield for Dover Sherborne. Certainly I'd say one of the elite goaltenders in the TVL. Laney in the high slide pass as he was looking for Abbott. That one just got away from Abbott. Nice vision there, however. Abbott behind the net. Trying to backhand it. We'll have a face off there as the net comes misplaced. 12-13 left in the second period. Hiller's putting the pressure on early in the second. You can see they've definitely picked up the pace from over the first period here. There's some real nice passing going on by the Hillers in this period as well. Simos jammed up in the corner. Now it's Delaney with the turnaround. Britt being kept busy here in the last few minutes. Over the blue line. Mr. there deflected by a number of players on the Saporoshitz attempt. Now Saporoshitz again. That went off a defender. Here come the Blue Raiders marking on the break. Nice and they had a two on play. one for a while. Yeah, very nice defensive play. He was looking for Condon. And Connor Delaney broke that one up. Over in the corner. Rister wide to the right by Gadralt. And popped up by Walsh. Picked up by Papiel. Over on the right circle. No one out in front. Backhander, and that was off of Britt. Now jammed up behind the net. Back to the neutral zone it goes. Turned away by O'Leary. And he saw Sloan sitting wide open up the far side. Trying to catch DS on a change here. Over to Walsh. Now Sloan. Back to the neutral zone, picked up by Terry. Jarrett, rather. Now Dover Sherborne in control. Three on two here for the Blue Raiders. That one put across by Pale out a little wide to the left. Over on the far side. And that one is off of O'Leary. Here come the Hillers racing into the neutral zone. Over Sherborne starting to put a little pressure on as Seamus takes a hard hit to the boards. In the high slot, stolen away by Sloan, racing up the far side. Up around the end board it goes, Sloan in the corner. Smart play. It looks like we'll have a penalty here. Jones being on the power play again. We'll send Higgins to the box. Another huge opportunity for the Hillers. Two minutes on the penalty clock. 9.56 left to go in the second period. Owen Delaney up against Cole Condon. A quick shot there, just wide to the right by Griffin Zach. Now the net turned away. That was Will Abbott, rather. Back to the blue line of Simos. Looking out in front, now there's Sloan. Up around to Abbott. 
Have it back to Lindquist. Lindquist with the wrister. Wide to the left. There's Sloan. Out in front, and that one deflected. That was Owen Delaney with some good vision there. That one had goal written all over. That was a good nice save. job by Britt. And oh, there's a goal hot. from the left circle. Will Abbott turns it around and laces it in, in the right side, top corner. He goes glove side and gets it by Britt with 9.14 left to go. It's 1-0 Hillers. The Hillers showed great patience with that power play. They moved the puck around, waited for the openings. Didn't give up any shots on pads, knocking them down the other end. Well, they take advantage of the power play and get on the scoreboard. That was just a great wrister by Will Abbott. He had a hat trick in that Ashland game. That was an eight to three victory for the Hillers. Back to the neutral zone. Turned away now by Abbott. Over on the near side, Simos. And Delaney trying to backhand that one in and that is gonna be covered up by Britt. And after Delaney backhanded that one, Abbott was looking for a second goal there, but Britt just barely able to cover that one up in time, Eric. And they really got the momentum now. But, uh, they came out strong right out of the, uh, the gates here, and they're carrying that in for the rest of the period. With a face-off with 8.42 left in the second. Hiller's putting the pressure on, taking advantage of a power play and making it one to nothing. That happened just about 45 seconds ago, but here come the Blue Raiders. Some good stick work, but turned away by Gilbert on a nice defensive play. That's say Andrew Gilbert, the freshman player to watch out for this season. Showing some real good skill. Certainly is. Look at an icing here. Clock stopped at 8.19 as we'll have a face off in the Hiller zone. And there for Hopkinton, DJ Sloan. Along the near side. Racing up is Popfield, turns it away. Lindquist puts it to the boards and we'll get a whistle. We'll head to center ice for this one. And we'll have a line change. Well, I'd say scoring that goal takes a little bit of the pressure off. But I think you want to keep your foot on the gas pedal if you're the Hillers, the way Dover Sherborne's defending. Nice slot, wide to the left goes Hamblet. Caught up in the corner is Hamblet with a couple of Blue Raiders. He meets up with Goudreault. Hamlet still in possession of it. And if now it's stolen away by Goudreault. Puts it around the end board. Lindquist trying to pick it up on the other side. Met with a hard hit by Markin. And we might have a call here. I think Markin might head to the box for that one. Yeah, another cross check. Yep. And all Hill is going to do is just like they did in the last power play. They just want to take their time, settle the puck down, move it around to that open guy. Yeah, using the mm -hmm. stick there. Another huge opportunity for the Hillers, and you're Dover Sherborne trailing one nothing. That was the last thing you want to do. And he's certainly not happy about it. Owen Delaney on the faceoff. Caught up along the corner, Abbott, top of the circle, puts it across. Simos picks it up on the other side. Now Lindquist, and is back up to Abbott. Owen Delaney racing around, trying to catch up with it. Sloan, top of the right circle, finds Lindquist. Lindquist looks to his left and finds Abbott. Abbott with a nice shot. And that was right at Britt, who was just able to cover it up. It looks like he was trying to get that one in the, uh, the five hole. It was what's want to try to get a body in front there. He had a clear shot at that one. 
Laney on the faceoff. Abbott. Lindquist. There's Simos with the wrister. That went off of Britt. And we got a faceoff. That came out once again. Hillis have the luxury here having Stevie Simos play defense. He's played a lot of that in his career. So you know, he normally plays forward. He's great back there on the D. Quarterback in the power play. According to the scoreboard, 12 to 5 on shots on goal. Hiller's leading. 1-0 Hiller's lead as well. Sloan puts that one out in front. Delaney nearly had a stick on it. Turned away by Bright, who's being kept very busy in these last couple of minutes. Lindquist, top of the left circle. That one off of Britt. And turned away by a defender as Rooney able to get in front of it. And now along the end boards, Sloan gives it over to Simos. Now back to Sloan on the circle. Over towards Laney. Now Lindquist back towards Abbott looking for the shot here. The wrister that one just a little bit high. Now Lynette is Sloan. Turns it around. Looking for Simos. Now finds Lindquist at the blue line, and that one and just off of Britt. And what was that, like four shots in the last minute for the Hillers? Unbelievable Little pressure, on right? Trying to take advantage of another power play. Still 15 seconds left on the power play. Here comes Hopkinton again, another opportunity here. Here's Abbott, trying to leave that one out in front. Sloan looking for the shot, turned away by a defender as Condon gets in front. Now Lindquist. Up around the net. That one put across by Abbott. Now there's a wrister turned away by Simos. Lindquist up along the near side and jammed up in the corner. Around the end boards. Over to Sloan and now Abbott finds it. Excuse me, Simos. Picked up by Arnone. TJ Sloan able to put that one into the corner as we have a line change. Sean Walsh around the end boards of Hamlet. Temple to the cross. Laney out in front. Opportunity here turned away by Britt. That was Sean Walsh trying to jam it in. We're on the far side. Temple. Back pass there to get it out of the danger zone. That'll draw the whistle. 4.44 left to go in this second period. Good pressure there for the Hillers. Yeah, they are putting on quite the pressure. And I have to say, kudos to Dover Sherborne for killing off that power play unharmed. That was a tough one for him. Backhanded pass by Connor Delaney. The near side out of play that goes off of Saporoshitz. One well. thing the Hillers need to look to do here, Tom, is with the, the way Britt's been playing a net here. They want to try to get those shots down low from far out, look for those rebounds. And the one by Abbott in close, that's when you want to go top corner like he did. But you want to try to get that puck down low, look for the rebound, the right. second chances. There's been a number of opportunities. They just try to jam it in there past them. They've knocked the net out at least three or four times in this period. Dover Sherborne certainly lucky they have Aiden Britt in net, or this could be a totally different score right now. Wouldn't be a close game, I don't think. Jammed up in the far side corner. Connor Delaney trying to get a stick on it, as well as E.J. Sloan. And a nice job by Sloan getting that one out. Up the far side boards it goes. On the hit by Zach, and we'll have the whistle. Another change for both teams. Killers rested up, ready to get some of their starters back in there. I don't think uh, O'Leary's been tested at all this period. No, not really. I think there's been two shots on net for Dover Sherborne in the entire period. 16 of 5 in favor of the Hillers as far as shots are concerned. 357 left to go in the second period. Looking for the shot there, and that was a great defensive play. Maybe a goal saver by Cameron Jarrett. Over on the near side. Up behind the net goes. Turnaround by Delaney, and that one right off of Britt. He was ready for that one. 
Now over to the blue line. That was popped into the slot by Sheamus. Here come the Blue Raiders. Cole Condon looking for something here. And Condon getting that shot off. O'Leary deflects it. Up the near side is Simos. And he's tripped up there by Arnone. And for the turnaround here is Delaney. Hard shot by Lindquist. Now along the end boards is Abbott. Trying to get it out. Shot total will be even higher if Dover Sherbert didn't block the amount of shots that they have so far. Right. Conan puts that one towards the near side. Picked up back ice by Gilbert. Lindquist. Goes back to Gilbert. You've got to give credit to the Hillers defensively, too. They have just defended so well. Dover Sherborne, they've had a number of opportunities to put the pressure on, but Hopkins did just defend well now. We have a quick break here as Temple is coming up. Hunter Temple, top of the circle. Wrist that one wide to the left. Picked up by Sloan. Out towards the slot and the wrister. And that is going to be a save by Britt. Just able to get to that Sean Walsh attempt. Walsh nearly had a goal there. That one. Uh, Send it up right in the breadbasket of Aiden Britt. PJ Sloan on the faceoff for the Hillers. And for Dover Sherborne, it's Matt Paolato. Out of the blue line, put to the near side by Gilbert. Real smart play, putting that in the corner and not sending them the other way. Far side corner, Walsh. Temple now. Puts it up towards the blue line of Lindquist. That one wide to the left. Out in front. And that's picked up by Gadrolt. Up the far side. O'Leary turns it away. Lindquist gets a stick on it. Now jammed up in the corner. Shot opportunity here for Dover Sherborne, the wrister, and that is going to not be a goal. That was so close. You do not get any closer to slow a goal roller. than that. Right, slow roller, and it slipped out of O'Leary's glove, and he thought he was going to watch it go in the net, but it just barely escaped. Ended up reflecting out of his glove and just going a little bit to the right of the net. But if he hit that in any type of different direction, that one would have went in. Crisis averted for the Hillers. One Delaney on the faceoff. Back to Saperoshes. Yeah, he hit Simos out in front of the net. One minute left to go in this second period. Over along the far side. Opportunity here in the left circle. That one off of O'Leary, the secondary attempt. And that one is deflected. Back to the blue line now to Rooney. Miller is able to catch up with him. Over Sherborne putting a little bit of pressure on. There's Abbott. Leaving it out in front, and that was a great attempt by Owen Delaney. Coming up the far side now is Arnone. Picked up by Simos. Over Saperoshitz. In the right circle, glove saved by O'Leary. And that was Standish characters on the one-timer. Well, if you didn't see the scoreboard, you wouldn't think this was a 1-0 game. Well, all of a sudden, in the last few minutes, Dover Sherborne has come alive. I think they're starting to feel the heat. 17.1 seconds left to go in this second period. Over to the blue line, that one deflected off of Simos. DS still in control, Rooney along the far side. Hard hit by Owen Delaney. That was a nice hit. And that's gonna do it for the second period. The Hopkinton Hillers grab a goal with 9.14 left to go. Will Abbott strikes 
the top right side corner to put the Hillers on the board, but certainly a couple of scary situations towards the end of that second period, Eric. This game's starting to mirror that first game of the season against Westwood where the Hillers totally dominated in shots, but it was a one goal game the whole way through and they hung in there tough and then they get that one break. So Hill's got to start capitalizing on some of their chances here. Well, let's hope we don't see that again, or they might think uh, we're cursed. <laughs> All right, well, the final 15 minutes are going to come up next. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HKN. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors, and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating, and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, Shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center as we are just about ready for the third period. The Hopkinton Hillers leading Dover Sherborne one to nothing. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi. On the broadcast, John Ritz on camera to bring you Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. And this game, this has been a good battle between these two teams, Eric. And it, as you mentioned earlier, it looked like the Hillers, they were largely in control. But last few minutes of that second period, Dover Sherborne came alive. They do. And what you want to be careful here is a one goal game against a hot goaltender. Is you don't want to try to do anything fancy. Just keep it simple. Get that puck in deep. And get that four check going. Shots on net. We are underway here in this third period. Dover Sherborne, they need a goal if they want a, any chance to come back in this one. And they are in control early on here. Backhander, and that one just wide to the right by Cole Condon. Scary situation there. O'Leary kept busy the last few minutes of the second period. That one poked through for the shot by Standish Carruthers. Another shot there from the left side. Over Sherborne putting the pressure on early in this third period. Picked up in the corner by Gilbert. And over to the near side, Lindquist. He finds Owen Delaney. Turns it around. And then that nice poke through there by Delaney to Simos. In the Dover Sherborne territory it goes as the Hillers switch up a couple players on the ice. And we are a minute into this third period. 25 to 10, Hillers leading in shots. Another shot here, wide to the left by Temple. Trying for the backhander. Jammed up along the corner. Hunter Temple with a couple Blue Raiders. And he's knocked down there and we get a whistle. John Gajolt making the contact. And so it'll be on the power play. Yeah, that's gonna be a big, big penalty for the Hillers. One thing they want to be careful here, it looks like the Goals. little extra water on the ice from the uh, in-between periods here that the puck doesn't get stuck. Right. Turnover going the other way. And what was the call there on good draw? It looked like a clean I, hit. I thought it was a clean hit myself. Yeah. I think they, uh, I think, think the Hillers got a lucky break there. Size difference, I think, influenced right. that call. Along the far side, Sloan. Thanks, Lindquist. Now Sloan on the left circle. And nice that one tip. is... Looks like Abbott got the tip. <laughs> yeah, it's off the stick of Sloan. And then I think it was Delaney, actually, who put that one in. Owen Delaney was standing on the right side of the net and tipped it in. So the assist by Sloan. And we'll get the official word on that. That's a big goal for the Hillers here, getting that two-goal cushion. And that's with 13.33 left to go in the third period, so less than a minute and a half in. And I think that was a lucky break. I don't even think Delaney knew that he uh, hit the puck, but he ended up hitting it right in the net. Hit the stick down in the right position. Right. He didn't even make a motion with his stick, just bounced off. He'll take it. Back ice now, Connor Delaney. 
That's DJ Sloan trying to pick it up. Two nothing Hiller's lead. Here comes Dover Sherborne. Turned away by DJ Sloan. Over the far side. But the Temple behind the net. Taken by the Blue Raiders. There's a slap shot right at the defender in front of the net. The backhander, no. Denied is Hunter Temple. And what a play by Aiden Britt to deny Temple on that one. Great job by Temple getting that backhander off. Looks like they're going to have another power play. That was a hard wrister by Connor Delaney. And that is, I believe the Hillers are two for three in power plays. That's one thing you've got to take advantage of when you get those chances. And now you got two in the box for Dover Sherborne. Of course, uh, only a one-man advantage right now for the Hillers. Yeah, he has to sit his time out even though the Hillers scored the first one. Yep. Lindquist over to Abbott. Here comes Will Abbott. I apologize, you were right, that was Will Abbott. I can see good far away, it's up close I can't see. I had the wrong uh, jersey number. And there's a slap shot and that one is wrapped up by Aiden Britt. What a save off that DJ Sloan shot. Really good look too, he had a wide open shot. So I think next time we'll just go with what you say. <laughs> Will Abbott on that second goal and that was off of uh, DJ Sloan. Abbott gets that one off the pad of Britt. Lindquist, high slot, wrist that one. Deflected by a defender, Popiel got a stick on it. Back into the Hiller's zone, Simos picks it up. Here he goes up the far side. Leaves it behind for Abbott. Now over to DJ Sloan. Back over to Simos. Into the slot it goes. Nice job by Popiel getting that one out of the danger zone. Good back check by Sloan. There's Sloan over the near side. Abbott racing down, looking for the shot here. The backhander and Delaney was right out in front but could not get the stick on it. Delaney in the left circle and wrists that one and it's wrapped up by Britt. 10.53 left to go in this third period and Hillers they can afford to get a little bit comfortable, but of course not too comfortable with the way uh, Dover Sherborne has shot in the last few minutes. On the face off, it's Griffin Zach for Hopkinton. You just want to be careful here. They've got 10 seconds left that Dover Sherborne man coming out of the box doesn't break out behind him. Right. Miller switching up the line. A little miscommunication on the faceoff, so Tommy Hamlet will take it. Pass behind over to Delaney. That one out in front, denied by a defender. O'Leary sets it up. Coming up ice now, Delaney. Leaves it out for Zach. Over on the far side. Here comes Dover Sherborne. Up the near side, Higgins in the left circle. Turned away by a couple of Hillers. Griffin Zach able to get in front of that one. Over Sherborne trying to put some pressure on here. There's a wrister, that one denied by O'Leary. Nice shot by Arnon. And that one out in front, O'Leary needs to cover it up. And we'll have the uh, starters come back out for the most part. You know, two nothing lead here. Here's where you want to play real good in your own end. You want to make sure you're getting that puck out first before you're doing anything. Not trying to make that cross ice pass. Just chip that thing out, get into the neutral zone, and then work your way down. Owen Delaney on the face off for the Hillers. Backhander by Jarrett. 
Delaney racing up, an opportunity here, two on one. Delaney wrists it, and that's a goal! Three nothing Hillers, Owen Delaney squares off with Aiden Britt and wins the battle. Real great play by Simos there, just doing that exact thing, chipping it right off the boards, hitting Delaney in stride. Setting him on a two on one. That goal comes with 9.56 left in the third. It was two on one, Britt didn't know what way to look and Delaney took care of it. What a shot that was. Will Abbott two goals, Owen Delaney one. Owen Delaney looking for another here and he risked that one just wide to the left. I think a defender got a stick on it as well. Back pass by Saparoshitz. Into the neutral zone. Simos trying to turn it away, but Char Characters gets there and we'll have a whistle. I think the Hillers are going to be up. down a man. Yep. And tripping. So we'll have a power play for Dover Sherborne here. Well, they need to take advantage of this. If they want any chance. And they need to do it quick. Trailing 3-0 with 9.19 left. Killers have taken advantage of a few good open shot opportunities. Great kill here by Sloan. Yep. Racing away with the puck and showing off the stick work. Took a lot of time off the clock there for DS. Killers have been very good this season at killing the power play. There's Will Rooney. Ward over Sherborne. Leaves it behind for Condon. And that one deflected off of O'Leary. In the left circle. Turned away. Up to the blue line. And that one right off of Temple. I think that hit him right in the shin. That one's gonna hurt in the morning. Oh yeah. He's gonna come out. Line change for the Hillers with 8.23 left. Over on the far side, Nick Markin. And in the neutral zone is Rooney. He's behind, here comes Condon. Condon up against Lindquist. Lindquist turns it away over towards Owen Delaney. Over the blue line, the shot wide to the left. An opportunity by Rooney. In the left circle now, two on one. Andrew Gilbert gives a hard hit on the end boards. That one popped up, ends up in Dover Sherborne territory, and Will Abbott was hoping for an opportunity. He gives himself a little give and go there to himself. <laughs> Here come the Blue Raiders, our own. And the right circle, leaves it in the slot, and the backhander deflected by O'Leary, what a save. And now out in front, O'Leary turns that one away, and then is going to cover it up. And Dover Sherborne saying it's in, they think Standish character has poked it through. I thought and I heard the whistle, but the referee is signaling goal. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll get that goal. 7.19 left, and I believe that was Standish characters who poked it through. First goal of the game for Dover Sherborne. I don't know, I thought he had that covered up. Usually uh, when you hear the whistle, the play is over. Well, Dover Sherborne feeling the pressure and they respond. Seven fifteen left to go. Two goal game now. On the near side. Back to the neutral zone as Gadrolt chases it down for Dover Sherborne. Pass over to Characters. And they credited Henry Kenny with that goal. And there is the wrister covered up by Britt. What a save by Britt. That was a hard shot to deal with. Coming off the stick of Sean Walsh, the sophomore. Yeah. 
And we will have a face off. Chased by Connor Delaney. Puts it across. Over towards Sean Walsh. Sean Walsh, another player to look out for, the sophomore. Good up and coming player. Absolutely. In the right circle, and that's turned away. Nice job defensively by the Hillers. As Tommy Higgins was looking for the shot. Back to the blue line of the wrist. That's off of O'Leary and out of play. Well, that goal's given DS a little momentum here. John Goudreau on a hard shot. Yeah, it certainly has. What the Hillers want to do here is they just want to make sure they stick with their assignments. They want to stay with their man, stay in their lanes. Don't give Dover Sherman any extra chances, odd man chances. 6.19 left to go. Dover Sherborne needs a couple of goals quick. And that one nearly a goal as O'Leary just able to turn it away. It was off of the stick of characters. Now along the end boards is Seamus. Left out in front. Trying to poke it through and it was an open gap but he could not get it through in time. As Carruthers trying to get it in. And that was a huge opportunity for Dover Sherborne. And now a huge opportunity for the Hillers. Abbott with control along the right circle. Now takes it across to the far side. Leaves it out in the slot. Lindquist with the slap. And that is going to be. Net came one. off the moorings, yeah. Yep. That was off the pad of Britt. Net comes out. And we'll have a face off. That was a scary situation. There's been a that couple of scary situations for the Hillers. Yeah, they want to make sure they protect that puck in their own end. You got to put that puck in the corner or up the board. It's not coming out front. There has been at least three almost goals for Dover Sherborne in this one. Four shots on net. 33 for the Hillers. Dover Sherborne has 17. On the face off for Hopkinton is Simos. Delaney going off of Britt. Getting the leg pad down. Opportunity here, Abbott in the slot. The backhander denied by Britt. The secondary attempt denied by Britt. And Simos lost his footing as he falls into the boards. Took a hard fall, but nice job getting the uh, second shot off. But Aiden Britt on top of it. And man, is this goaltender being put to work in this game. Sloan on the faceoff. Sean Walsh in the corner. There's Temple behind the net. Backhanded pass by Sloan. Over the blue line now. Here come the Blue Raiders. Two on two coming up the ice. Over to the right circle. Rister wide to the left goes Max Chen. Coming down quickly is DJ Sloan. Gets around a couple of Blue Raiders and we'll have a whistle as he puts that one wide to the left. 4.43 left to go. Hopkinton trying to hold on as over Sherborne. They got a few good shots off in the last couple of minutes. I'd like to see the Hill's defense challenge a little bit more. They need to step up when those Raiders are coming in over the blue line there. Challenge them, don't let them get in. Delaney, Abbott, and that was denied by Britt. Yeah, Abbott caught up along the end board now. Picked up by Carruthers. Nice job by the Blue Raiders getting out of the defensive zone. Hard hit. And that was Conan taking a nice hit from Saperoshitz. Back to the neutral zone we go. Here comes Abbott, the backhander, and it's wrapped up by Britt. Not giving up any rebounds here. Certainly not. Nice opportunity for Will Abbott. And he got a pretty good shot off, but Aiden Britt just doing a sensational job for Dover Sherborne in the net. He's the only reason this game's remotely close right now. Temple and Sloan in the circle. This Temple's tripped up. 
on the far side. That's a good physical play along the boards by both teams. And that was quite a sequence there. A whole lot of turnovers. And now the Hillers with an opportunity here. Just wide to the left goes Sloan. One on three, and he's still got the shot off. Sloan from the circle, and he won't get the shot off that time. Skates just past the mark. Gilbert. Smart play. Get it in deep, yep. get a change. Watch the guy coming up wide. And more importantly, take some time off the clock. In the neutral zone. Zaporoshitz turns it away. Up the far side, Markin. And that one deflected by O'Leary. Papiel was hoping for a secondary attempt, but he was denied. Nice defensive play by Simos. Hard hit there by Delaney. Owen Delaney trying to take control. Picked up by to, characters. They need to get that puck in deep there. Trying to get a little cute at the blue line. Get, get it in deep and go with a four check. Up the near side, Markin. He meets up with Delaney. It's Connor Delaney. Along the boards. 232 left to go. Time running out for Dover Sherborne very quickly. Out in front. Denied by O'Leary. Put around the boards. Uh, smart move there by Saperoshitz. And we will get a change. I think we'll see a timeout coming up here. 217 left on the clock. Pillars trying to improve to 5-1-1 one, and one on the season. And speaking of a timeout, it looks like we're going to get one right now. Good time for the Hillers. I think they need to regroup here. I think coaches are going to tell them just to settle it down. Don't try to do too much. Try, not to try to make some of those long passes in the zone. They're getting picked off there. You just want to keep it simple. Forwards stay down low. Give your defenseman someone to get the puck up to. And get pucks in deep. At this point, they don't need any more goals. They just, but they need to keep from getting turnovers and giving Dover Sherman a uh, chance to get back into this. Right, I'd say it's all about taking that time off the clock and not giving Dover Sherborne any opportunity or any hope at getting back into this one. But hats off to the Blue Raiders. This has been a fun game to watch between two good teams. I'd expect we'll see them both make uh, pretty good postseason runs as well. Good effort out there. And we are ready to continue on the final moments. 2.17 left on the clock. We'll have a face-off in the Hiller zone. And it's all about assignments here. You want to pick up your man right off the face-off. Here we go. Big win. On the near side. Empty net for Dover Sherborne as Abbott turns away looking for a goal. And what a job uh, head coach Tom Bork has done with this Dover Sherborne program. 11-8-1 last year. They went into the postseason. Of course, Chris McPherson for the Hillers. Two great coaching staffs. We've got a whistle here and a face off in Dover Sherborne territory. It's about the only thing that Brick won't be able to stop when he was sitting on the bench. The Raiders put their goalie back in net for this one. As soon as the Blue Raiders get it out of their territory, they'll have an empty net once again. And a turnaround there by Delaney, just wide to the right. Simos leaves it out in front for Abbott. Delaney. Abbott chases it down. Just want to kill the clock. Yep. Can't blame him. Lindquist. Over Sherborne with a chance. There's Delaney. Puts it up the boards in the Blue Raider territory. And there's the icing. 113 left to go. Pull the goalie again here to get that one-up advantage. 
Next up for the Hopkinton Hillers, they'll be hosting Dedham on Wednesday, January 10th. Then it'll be on the road against Medway next Saturday. And they play over at Franklin, Pirelli Veterans Arena. That'll be a tough matchup. Here we go, quick break, empty net. And this should be a goal, and it is. A wrister and an empty net goal by the sophomore, Sean Walsh, with 102 left to go. Looked like you wanted to go top corner on the empty net. <laughs> And that is the icing on the cake for the Hillers. Four to one now. And this was a great win for Hopkinton and a great all around performance as well. They really got tested here today. And they will burn the final minutes of the clock. Another shot and that one is Wrapped up by Aiden Britt. Getting the wrister off was Tommy Hamblett. Another sophomore player to look out for. Got some good hockey lineage. Has some couple of brothers that are really good hockey players as well. Less than a minute left to go now. The blue line. Out in front. It's turned away. Here come the Blue Raiders. Playing for pride at this point. Characters denied by Connor Delaney. On the boards, he goes with it. He's picked up by Rogers. Now here come the Blue Raiders once again. Quick break into the left circle goes Condon. Out in front. Trying to set it up. Condon with the slap and the goal. That one just on the corner of the net. Condon saw it, took advantage of the opportunity, and puts it into the top right corner with 17.6 seconds left. Yeah, no quitting these Raiders. They're still playing right to the final. Buzzer here. Yeah. They certainly are. And that'll make it a 4-2 game. Well, throughout the first two periods, there was only one goal in the game. And since then, we've had a whole lot of scoring. Nearly another goal there. And O'Leary being kept busy here in these last few seconds. Five seconds left on the clock. And Dover Sherborn going out of this one with a bang. But it won't be enough as the Hillers going to come away with the 4-2 victory. Five goals scored combined in that last period. Pretty impressive stuff and a whole lot of fun to watch. And a great win for the Hopkinton Hillers. Sarek, any final thoughts? It's just a little bit of a slow start, but you know, once the, the Hillers get that skating game going, they, they really that, that four check just gets them into the game. And they had a really good power play tonight. They certainly did. The uh, first goal of the game came in the second period, 9-14 left. Will Abbott scored first for the Hillers to give them a 1-0 lead. And then in the third period, it was Will Abbott Scoring once again to make it two to nothing off a nice assist by DJ Sloan. And then the Hillers would also add two more in the period, but to over Sherborne, they uh, made things scary at one point as they were able to add a goal from Standish Characters with 719 left to make it a 3-1 game at that point. But they just could not get past O'Leary enough. And Dylan O'Leary kept very busy, played very well in net. As the Hopkinton Hillers defeat Dover Sherborne 4 to 2. Hopkinton now 5 1 and 1 on the season. Dover Sherborne falls to 4 3 and 1 overall. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy. And this has been a broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. We thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.